Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. In the last episode, we completed Baltaria pa Baltarian Palace 1-2, the second stage of the level. Or world. Interchangeable terms are a thing. <sighs> we completed the level, beat the boss, and I showed off the Stockpile Thomas duplication glitch. Oh boy. Speaking of which... Uh, how do I... drop? Thank goodness you always want. Oh, you worry too much, Thomas. Anyway, I need to take things some from you, because we have an agenda today. Take all this crap. And we're actually going to take the rapier back, for a very specific reason. In the meantime, though... We're going to deposit the, uh, Crescent Falchion. And... Do I have any armor? No, I am just naturally have a lot of stuff. Ah, it's probably all the grass that's piling up. In that case, put this in the box, put this in the box, put this in the box, put this in the box. Okay. Put these in the box, I don't need those right now. Let's see, what else? Ah, it's pr also arrows. We are indebted to you, for you fight on our behalf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I showed off how the duplication glitch works. Crestfallen merchant... Merchant? Crestfallen warrior is now basically dead. Okay, drop those off so, I, so I'm not tempted to use them since I glitched them in. I only used them to get a spell, but the trainer's not here. Regardless, today's objective is to do Stonefang Tunnel 2-1, the first area. But first things first, we got White World Tendency events to do in Voluntarian Palace. So let's head back in. Fortunately for me, there's only one White World Tendency event in Baltaria, so I don't have to worry about progressing onwards. Since uh, my memory is a little shoddy, I decided to go look at some things up. Oh. Oh, uh, this is bad. I'm in human form. I should have committed suicide. Oh, boy. This might be a bit of a problem. Well, if I die, so long as I don't go back to the Nexus, it doesn't update. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, this gate opens on pure wire, pure black tendency only, and it stays unlocked for the rest of the playthrough. Hooray. Now then, I see a crystal lizard over there. Well, since I'm in human form, I don't need the cling ring on. I might as well wear this. Now, we need to be careful because... That is an obvious trap. So, let's just ignore that. Say hi to Black Phantoms, everybody. Grab the loot. Pull out. Oh, God. Okay, good, we can still kill the Black Phantoms here. Ow. And they drop grass. Why do I call them Red Phantoms? These are Black Phantoms. Red Phantoms are player invaders. Okay, Black Phantoms are essentially special, en special enemies that basically do more damage, have more HP, but have a very high guaranteed drop. Now, it's still possible that they don't drop anything, but... Unknown soldier soul. It's very unlikely. Unknown soldier soul. Unknown soldier soul. All soldiers down here, even though they're dressed in peasantry outfits. Well, then again, we are at the gallows, so... Apparently, there was some desertion in the ranks. you. Fuck you. 
And fuck you. Give me all this grass. I chew on this like it's fucking nothing. <laughs> okay, and our reward for going up here is... The Renowned Soldier's Soul. Now, what's my... Item burden is 70 out of 98. Ooh, will I be able to pick this up? What's what I'm what's coming up? Now, here's something interesting. Do not just walk into there. That's stupid. Because uh, is she? Where is she? There's an NPC here. Hello? <laughs> I have you now, wretched traitor to the king. I, Meralda, shall show you no mercy. Okay. Come on out of your hidey hole then, Meralda. You stupid bitch. Aha! There you are. You're in the fucking corner. I couldn't see you because the sun's glaring in my eyes. Because apparently it decided to snow yesterday, and now there's nothing but blinding white light coming from my window. Come on, get out of your hole. Say hi to Executioner Meralda. An NPC who's dangerous because of that stupid freaking Ow! Hammer of hers. Fortunately for uh, me... Her AI is completely stupid. Yeah, let's don't do trades. And I don't dare try to do a boss. Like, at all. But I will do this. Okay, that's 55. Okay, I could've sworn I pressed the button. Foolish traitor to the <laughs> Goodbye, Meralda. I think she was in the process of becoming a demon. She sounded a little bit insane and two-toned. Anyway, let's pick up her stuff. The binded hood, the binded cross, the binded gloves, and the binded boots, and the master's ring. Master's ring. A ring made of straw rope. Damage from direct hits increase, while damage from all other attacks decreases. A ring from the faraway land known for its swordsmithing. Said to be imbued with a distinct spell. Now, direct hits. I forget what those are. I probably got to look up that ring's effect to get a clearer picture on that. But we got her stuff, which we can't wear because Demon Souls has sex-only equipment. And her... Meralda's set is only used by females. Armor crafted from cloth and leather. The leather straps are wide around the armor's width and breadth. In Boletaria, they are worn by executioners, particularly Executioner Meralda, who is known for her lunacy and beautiful voice. I guess. Okay, that was uh, a lot easier than I thought it would be, but backstabs. Very powerful. Very powerful. And if we look up, there's that pit I told you not to go into, because you end up down here, but you touch the glowing mass of souls, you die. So, uh, let's not uh, fall to our doom. Just yet. Instead, we're gonna grab the ring of poison resistance. Oh god, platforming. Ho 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 ho, platforming. I mean, technically, I don't need to worry about dying anymore because I killed Meralda. Ah, fuck. Ah! Yep, I knew that would happen. Well, now I don't have to worry about, uh... Oh, that's annoying. 
Yeah, platforming's not gonna be a thing I'm gonna be able to do. Even normally, I can't really do that. Wait, direct hits. You mean counter hits? Is that what that's referring to? Oh, that's gonna bug me. I just know it. More grass. Chomp. Anyway, let's grab my souls, even though I really don't care. Well, I actually do care because, you know, I kind of need those to get my spell. That I want. Which I should probably get after this, anyway. And, ah, uh, yes. Crystal Lizard respawn. Ah, oh, crap. These guys are back. Ah, oh, fuck. Should've just ran for the lizard. Two for one. Well, at least I now have a way to easily farm up grass. Yeah, see, Crystal Lizard's respawn works on how many bosses you kill. So you can, you can only have, like, a maximum of four respawns per lizard. So... Yeah, this game is not nice when it comes to Crystal Lizard drops. Man, I am too worried about you guys, but you're just dragglings, so you're not really that strong. It's the other... Phantoms that become a problem. Well, I don't have to worry about farming for grass anymore. Okay, let's get my stuff back. Merold is dead, so we don't have to worry about this place anymore. I wonder. Do I have keyboard enabled? No. I would have to make a separate binding for that. Even then, you I need to you need to walk straight, fall down, turn around, then head that direction, grab that, then fall down. All without uh, dying. Easier said than done. Also doesn't help that my joystick is drifting, so in order to compensate for drifting, I had to alter the sensitivity options. Which is why I'm so fucking jittery and can't move straight and try to do finite adjustments. Then again, nine times out of ten, I just fall and don't get this item anyway because I keep dying. Oh boy! The worst ladder climb in existence. At least with Snake Eater, you get, an, you get the, the main theme song playing. This, we just get the sounds of crows. Cannot burn it. It would over... Shit. Oh, this is a problem. Actually, no, it's not. I can just equip the ring. What am I talking about? Grab this. We get the brushwood leggings. The brushwood gauntlets. The brushwood armor. The brushwood helmet. And... The large brushwood shield. We have the brushwood set, which is the heaviest armor in the game. This old hel helmet? Helmet! Helmet! That's a typo. I was long held, long ago held by the Baltarian royal family. It is a sink for a staving off flame. Recently, Bjor the Twin Fangs has been known for wearing it. Its tremendous heaviness greatly impedes stamina regeneration. Yeah, it's the heaviest armor in the game. And this is not Bjor's armor. Well, it is, but it's not. And this is not Bjor. This is, uh, most likely Valorfax instead. So yeah, there's a little bit of uh, inconsistencies, inconsistencies when it comes to uh, translation. In this version, at the very least. If they fixed it in the uh, remake, good. If they didn't, well, that's a uh, poor uh, development. And since I don't do scripted videos, don't ask me questions about lore. I couldn't begin to explain it even if I tried. Even if I do try to explain without doing a meticulous research and writing down a proper script, I suck. 
explaining anything. Anyway, we got a reward. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Since we're here, I might as well look this up regardless. Close that. Oh, I don't need the duplication glitch open anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. Master's Ring. Let me see what that actually does. What? Operation timed out. Okay, fine. I'll have to go through this normally. Items and armor. Looking for rings. We are Master's Ring. Yes, it is. It's actually critical hits. Well, counter hits, to be more specific. The white flash when you counter hit an enemy, that increases that damage by 15%, but it decreases your damage otherwise. So if you're good at uh, hitting while the enemy is doing an animation, 15% more damage is good. If you're not, well, good luck. Actually, da, 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 da. let me look up uh, Maralda's uh, thing. Uh, Voltarian Palace 1 1. Can you give me, uh... Okay, how about... Okay. Du -du 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 well, that doesn't tell me what the fucking item is, you fucking bricks. That's annoying. So my options are I can either try to get that or just ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. I can always come back and get it later anyway. I'm gonna have to come back here and get it anyway later anyway anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna have to come back here and get it regardless. Cause this place is different in Black World tendency. Oh, sorry about that. On the pulse end, I now have sausage to snack on. <sighs> and I didn't die. That's surprising. Oh, I thought a draggling or two would have come down and smacked me in the face. Yeah, I can't do uh, beam platforming as long as I keep jittering, so... That's a bit of a problem. You. Turn to the Nexus. And that's it for Baltaria. And it's back to neutral. Hello, Made in Black. Uh, I'm sorry I don't need to, uh... Use your services right now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go get our Miracle Teacher back now. I see that my plan is going swimmingly. So we head to the Judicator's Archstone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I 
have the brushwood set. Need to drop that off first. Don't be stupid, you moron. Your foot, your inventory is full. Drop things off. Thank goodness you are safe. I was what? Now, Thomas, Thomas is gonna keep repeating that because I walked away from him while he was talking. Joy. Okay, drop off the shield, which weighs 13 fucking bloody pounds. We are in debt. Okay, cling ring engage. And until I can increase my endurance, I've got to wear the regular strength. Hmm. There's something about sage sausage. You know, if I'm being honest, I probably should have upgraded my health and endurance first before I did my faith. But whatever. Ow! And that's what happens when you don't have the thief ring equipped. Well, actually, I don't need to roll for at this point, so I can equip this instead. Hey, Grave Robber Blige. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... These guys are bugging out because they have no idea where I am. Let's go destroy this one first to make sure I don't get smacked in the face. Kill this guy. He always drops something. Okay, let's get our T. Let's. Okay. Oh. That's not what I meant to land on. Well, I opened the way forward, so. That's something I don't have to do, I guess. Anyway. Sure, Dark Moon. Thanks. Now we go over here, and we follow the strange lights. And say hi to Patches. Oh, the demons haven't got to you, have they? <laughs> I'm in luck. You see that pit? It's filled with treasure. But uh, I can't get to it myself. Go on, have a look. It's more riches than I've ever dreamed of. That's it. That pit just there. Go on, get a little closer. Yeah, this doesn't scream trap. No, not at all. What the acolyte of God say? That his saint was kicked down the hole by a scoundrel? What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll work out a way to fish it out. <laughs> anyway, this is Patches. He shows up at two locations, here and in Stonefang. Have a look at that, then we'll work. All right, Patches, you're trustworthy. I don't see any treasure. What are you talking about? Ow. <laughs> don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time, starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Patches. And that sword, uh, sword, that item on that corpse up there, that only falls down during a pure White World tendency. And we got a black hand to deal with. Great. And here is our teacher. Hello. Heavens. Did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. 
pray with me? Umbasa. Uh, this is Saint Urbane. Your bull cut. You tell me you can't cast a spell to destroy that black phantom over there that I know you can cast. Heavens, well, the rib, but but how? Pray with me, Umbas. Uh, whatever. Shard of Dark Moonstone. Well, we found our new miracle teacher, but we need to get him out of here. And the only way to do that is to kill this black phantom. And give Patches a talk. Hey, uh, buddy, how much does this hurt you? 121. Not bad damage. And you can't block this shit because you're dual wielding katanas for some stupid reason. But you can dodge. Unfortunately for you, buddy, one of your katanas will kill you. Come on. You know you want to swing at me? Easy phantom fight. Goodbye. Urbane, you are a sack of garbage. You can cast a miracle that can one-shot this thing. I know that. Anyway, we get the Black Eye Stone, a chunk of moon, Dark Moonstone 3, and the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. <laughs> oh. Black Eye Stone allows the user to invade another world. Let me see if I remember this right. Yeah, the white eye allows you to return from co-op. The blue one lets you co-op by placing it down a sign. The black one basically lets you invade other players. Kind of pointless for me. Why am I carrying them? I don't know. Anyway, A. Urbane. Job's done. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? God has chosen you. And for that, we are thankful, Umbasa. You want to get out of here? God has Umbasa. Okay. He's gonna just going to repeat now. Okay, let's open up the door and get the fuck out of here, shall we? Question is, is it as easy as just walking to the door? Yes. All right, now where does this drop me? I forget. Does this put me right behind Patches? Because I swear I saw the wall with familiar patterns on it. Indeed, it does! Same mechanism as in the other room. Hi, Patches! You! You! Hey, look. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I mean, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. He gives you a ring of gas resistance. Thanks, Patches. <laughs> Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? No need to drag each other down. Uh-huh. Sure, Patches. Sure. No need to drag- Oh, Patches, you are a FromSoft staple. You and the Moonlight Sword are always in them. Even in, even in a series you should not be in. Okay, uh... There's a secret door here. I forget where it's at. Wait, is this it? No. Well, we got what we came here for, so we don't really need to be here, but there was a secret door somewhere around here, and I forget where it's at. Which allow- which will allow me to- that's not it. That's not it. God damn it. I could have sworn- Oh, this is gonna bug the piss out of me until I find it, isn't it? And I'm going up the wrong one anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I'll worry about this later. Because the secret door will lead me to the arguably strongest bow in the game, which I can't use. Because the stats to wield it are ridiculous. And quite frankly, the bow is overkill. Can't be too sure, because they may have changed what the way the walls look. 
Well, with the path is open to go forward in the level, which is what we're not going to do. Can't believe I accidentally stepped on the goddamn thing. Stupid forward momentum. Okay. Let's get out of here. We got what we needed. I can get my spell. And head, finally head into Stonefang half an hour in. Man, I should have rescued Urbane first. That was the fastest of these two side of these side quests. And the emulator has crashed. Fantastic. Well, let's see. Th oh, that's what it is. Access violation, writing location, read-only memory. Oh boy, that's a memory problem. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so I think I know what the problem is. By going too fast and trying to exit to head back to the Nexus, it's trying to do memory allocation to memory it cannot write to. It can only read. Which causes a problem, and it's like... Eh. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. And a good way to tell when the emulator freezes is you see the two souls glowing in the corner. If those stop moving, you know something's wrong. Hey, Patches! He's a merchant. Well, I remember you. I'm glad I found you. I found some really nice trinkets. Well, we've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to part with them at a special price. But only if you buy today. Can't say Patches isn't a good merchant. Big nose. Yeah, he sells grass, spice, shards of archstone, heavy arrows, heavy bolts, and a fragrant ring. Nothing here is stolen. I swear. I no longer partake in the whole corpse robbing thing. Yeah, no, I'm completely free from my vice. My old mother would be proud, indeed. Aren't you proud of me, too? You're such a good boy, Patches. Why don't, why don't I believe you? that priest and his disciples over there. They still don't trust me after that little incident behind the altar. Shouldn't they believe in forgiving and forgetting and all that? Well, I have news for them. Praying has not put food in my mouth, nor anyone else's. Yeah, no, I'm complete. Aren't you? Well, 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 here's the thing, Patches. Do you please, but you may yet regret refusing my offer. Good God, your nose is big. I can't help but feel like that's supposed to be a sign of uh, him being a liar. Hello, St. Urbane. You have something I Thanks want. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. Thanks, Urbane. Let's see, we got Heal, Antidote, Regeneration, Evacuate, Hen Soul. If we give him the Adjudicator's Soul, we get the Regeneration Spell. Uh, no, we won't Evacuate, please. Thank you. And we can cast God that. God bless this brave warrior. Umbasa. And we'll talk to the rest of you later, after we collect someone else. Okay, now that's over and done with. Do I have everything that I need? Yes, let's equip the rapier. Good. That was what let's deposit the shards and chunks. 
The bastard sword. And the extra ring of gash resistance, because we don't need two rings of bleeding. Are indebted to Too bad I can't sell junk. Anyway, after all that... Uh, I should probably level up first. Or, yeah, I should probably put some levels up. Thou seek then. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mind, key to I can only level up uh, maybe twice. Probably not. The lost, withdrawn from its vessel. From its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Wow, I'm a, th so I'm a few souls short. Mended. That's hilarious. That well, okay. Stone Fang Tunnel, City of the Burrowers, Keepers of the Huge Tunnel. Most of the stubborn excavators who supported their soldiers of Boletaria had their souls taken. Lacking their own will, they managed to continue working. So Stone Fang provides materials for Boletaria to make arms and armor. Eat. Ah, what a beautiful sun. And of course I... I'm fat rolling, I forgot. Fuck you! Shard of Sharp Stone 8. Nice. We be rolling. For an unknown hero's soul. Anyway. Hand back the rapier. You hear that noise? Sounds like someone's hammering. Down here is where our second blacksmith is, but we need to progress through the level to get to him. And my primary blacksmith of that. Hello. <laughs> Hello there, souls. Souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Okay, filthy man, what do you got? Crescent grass, grindstone, sharp stone, hard stone, and a pickaxe. Our little town. It's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this golden opportunity. <laughs> What an interesting Have man you, you are. heard about that sparkling lizard? He's not easy to catch, but he's got some fine stones, and I know where his nest is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it away. <laughs> Thank you. You're one yeah. to play. Well, you've got to pay, don't you agree? Oh, sit on your sacks of coal and shut the fuck up, you worthless shithead. Anyway. Next enemy is susceptible to pierce attacks. This is why I brought the rapier back out. Oh, goody. Next enemy is susceptible to spells. Okay, good. Let's see that those developer messages actually work. What we got? We got assholes throwing stones. Can we hit them from here? Well, maybe if I go to the right a bit. No, apparently I'm hitting an invisible wall. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't hit them. It's just a pain in the ass. Well, just run on through here and you'll be fine. We'll take care of them, then we'll go back to glad that item. Now we meet the main enemy of the level in this dark hellhole. 
Good God, this is darker than it needs to be. Eh. Better, but not the best. I should probably change some emulator settings for that. Ah, yes, here we are. Say hi to this game's main... This game? This level's main enemy. The miners. The lizard miners, to be more specific, because, you know, scales. Well, that's what I call them. Their official name is something I don't know. Because I don't look things up like that. Main point? Those fuckers are weak to piercing and magic damage. Anything else? You're going to be swinging for a while. Ah, we got the conveyor belts moving. Perfect. I'll have to ride all the way along to get that item. But first... Head in here. Ow. And now it's our first meeting in combat with this fat bastard. The Fat Minister. <laughs> he likes throwing fireballs. He also's got that weird uh, thing he's holding. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can throw fire too, dickwad. Ow. Well, might as well use it. Okay, how much does flame toss do to you? 102, what about soul arrow? 125. Okay, that makes sense considering that soul arrow is pure magic damage. And we get the crushing battle axe. Our first crushing weapon. Goes with strength, and it's an axe. What do you expect? Okay, grab this. Renowned Soldier Soul. Now we need to fall off onto the conveyor belt and hope we don't fall to our doom. Okay, now we ride all the way to the bottom, collect the item, then come back up. This should be far enough. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes acquired. Let's not get crushed by the conveyor belt, please. Now, I'm not sure if that's an actual thing, but I think I remember dying to getting crushed before. And I think that was an actual glitch death. Freaked me the fuck out when it happened. Anyway. One good thing, because I'm wearing the thief ring, these fuckers don't really care. Well, actually... I might as well have this out. Let's see, how much will this do? 242. <laughs> well, obviously. Backstabbing is practically guaranteed one shot with these fuckers. It also doesn't help that uh, I can't see shit. I'm worried for nothing. These guys are easy. Now there's uh, one type of these bastards that is special. And I think it's you, yeah. The ones carrying the bags have upgrade materials. And these guys don't respawn. So what are you gonna give me today? 
Hard stone and sharp stone. Four of each. Thanks. I appreciate it. What I don't appreciate is my screen being gl glared up by outside interference. What are you doing alive? And again, we're putting mindless souls out of their misery. Man, the thief ring is powerful when it actually works properly. I hear dogs. Load up. Ow, ow. Come on, mutts. Fuck you. One swing each. Now we gotta deal with the fat bastard over here. <laughs> How much does this do to you? 77. Staggered, bitch. Have an arrow. Ow. Full moon grass. Chunk of hard stone, sharp stone. And shards of clear stone. Thanks for the goodies. This place is a, a lot of upgrade materials. Get, get out of the door. Oh, that should have killed you in one shot. Good sir. Oh, there's a second one. That one had a pickaxe. Oh, they both have pickaxes. Well, I'll just uh, cleave through the door to remove your ability to hit me. Because if you guys can do it, I can do cheese too. Nice try, buddy. See, we'll grab this, get some more grass for the collection. Eventually, I'm just going to get rid of all this grass because I'll have enough uh, HP where this is practically useless to me. Anything in here? Yes. The pickaxe. Why buy it when you can get it for free? There's a fat minister up there. As you're wondering why I'm calling them the Fat Ministers, we'll get his hat. See, if we drop down, we ought to climb all the way back up, but this way is forward. But this way has more items to grab. Yeah, fuck it. Backstab. Yeah, don't mind me, but I'm just killing your friend. Sharp stone and large sharp stone. Let's see, is there anything else for me to grab on here? Nice try. Well, actually, if I remember correctly, this way is the cr- Damn, my memory's being shoddy. Wait, no. That bridge is the one I need to be careful on. Okay, run through here. Backstab you. Get stuck by a barrel. He didn't drop anything, that's good. Ow! Ow! That minister's becoming a problem, I should have took care of him before I came down here. But fuck me, I guess. You wanna try again, you bastard? Oh wait, this is the right way to go. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Hello, developer phantom telling me where to go. Kill you. Kill you. Good God, I love this mace. Uh, 
And now, the way is opened! Eh, we need to fall down regardless. So now I can go back up. Okay, let's grab this. Unknown soldier soul. Now it's time to go kick the fucking bastards slinging fireballs at me. Anyone gonna kill me when I try to go up here? Survey says... No. Unknown soldier soul. There's the fat minister. And there's that bridge I hate. This bridge will collapse. If I remember right, we need to run on the right side. And let's just, uh, plank this fat fuck in the face. Let's just hide behind the torch. Okay, too far. Gotcha! Okay, now let's see if I was correct. Is it the left or the right that falls? It's the fucking left. Well, I just made that harder on myself. Because there's no other way to get over there. Alright, well here's hoping that beam doesn't cause me to fall off. I'm gonna fall off. I can just tell I'm going to fall to my doom. At least it's not a bombless pit. Ow! Oh. I was pushing straight, game. Why are you to going me towards the fucking right? When you realize that uh, your your analog stick is drifting, and you realize that this franchise has a habit of putting fucking puzzles that involve platforming. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Holy shit, that actually works. I thought that was just a joke. In your face, you fat bastard. Yeah, just use the bow for walking. God damn it. Well, at least I can now move on. Unfortunately, Stone Fang is one of the bigger areas, so I'm not going to be able to beat everything in the first episode of this. But I don't have to, because I plan to end this when I get to the blacksmith, so with my cuts... Yeah, that should be enough time. Okay, because we go through here... To a large fog wall... Break on through... Wait a minute, this is gonna take longer than I expect, because the blacksmith is past this section. Son of a bitch. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Also, say hi to the fire salamanders. Since they're a bitch to hit, let's do this. Shard of Meltstone. Well, now we can, uh... Remove upgrades if we want to. Now, don't mind me, everybody. I'm just here killing everything that moves. No problem. 
Okay, the blacksmith is further past. Well, here's an interesting area. It's filled with lizards. Let's just, uh... These ones you can't get to, if I remember correct. correctly. Maybe? Yeah, I don't think you can get down there. But here we have a shard of dragon stone. Fire weapon? Sure, why not? Oh wait, no, no, yeah. We're getting to the blacksmith. He's just past this corridor filled with these douche nuggets. So let's just uh, show off our marksmanship skills and pump them full of arrows. Heartstone. Heartstone. Okay. Now we got miners with hammers. That's great. All hardstone. Ow. I did not see you there. My apologies. More hard and sharp stone. Finally, we're back outside. Now, let's not fall off the cliff and die, please. Not at this point. Unknown hero's soul. Because over here... ...is our first shortcut. And also the way to the blacksmith. Activate the conveyor belt. Go down here. Get off here, and we'll grab a pair of shard of clear stone. Ah, uh, oh. uh, whatever. And here's our blacksmith, ladies and gentlemen. First off, let's see if he has any uh, unknown treasure to find. A renowned hero's soul, and that's pretty much it. Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you around these parts. Uh, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. This is Blacksmith Ed. He can upgrade everything. He's a better blacksmith than Baldwin is. Oh yeah, I should probably actually do a repairing one of these days. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging weapons strengthens it. Alters its character. Ores of transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Ores of. Yeah, he can't. He doesn't, his dialogue doesn't open up until we give him a special soul. But we can upgrade our blessed mace if we add four more shards. Don't have any gray stone, so we can't do that. We can upgrade the rapier, or turn it to sharp if we want. Oh, I have enough to upgrade my bow to plus three. Ah, fuck it. Let's see, we can make it comp, we can continue upgrading, we can make it quality, which increases scaling for dexterity and strength. We can melt it down back to its normal. Um... Yeah, let's just uh, go to plus... Let's continue, let's just go normal. Yeah. We'll, go, we'll continue on the normal path. I just need large hardstone shards. Well done. Let me go. I walk alone. <laughs> Ugh. Well, unfortunately for me, I'm out of time for today, but I completed my objectives. I completed the White World Tendencies at Baltaria Palace 1-1. I got my Miracle Teacher. And we got access to Blacksmith Ed. Excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Demon Souls. Next time, 
we continue through Stonefang. But until then, I thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.